Diana Bell Chase, and I'm here with Judy Livingston Loto of Rusak and Loto, Antique Books, all about antiques. She's going to tell us a little bit about why we should collect books about collectible antiques. Books about antiques are your best defense against making sure that you're as knowledgeable as you can possibly be about the wonderful things that you have in your home. Antiques serve so many purposes. Not only do they come with a great story and a great history, uh, it's wonderful being able to have a piece of the past of your own. And understanding as much as you can about that just makes it that much more fun. Judy, this is not the thing that the average person gets into as their livelihood. How did you become a collector of books about antiques? Well, I worked in the museum world for a long time, and I spent my childhood going to antique shops and uh, museums, a little different perhaps, but I loved the stories behind all of the objects. I loved knowing that these things had been owned by people and used by people in the past, and I was always amazed that they lasted so long. And I thought that the objects themselves told great stories. So it was really neat to go to school later on in life and graduate school and, and learn how to tell. Well, show me one of your favorite books. Well, certainly down here in D.C., one of my favorite books is George Washington's Chinaware. Um, George Washington, of course, being a marvelous and prominent figure in American history. Uh, but he was bound and determined to make sure that Mount Vernon was furnished in the most fashionable style. And was very careful to choose all of the objects in the house that spoke to his status in life and, and what he wanted to say about his, his family and his purpose and, and his sort of mission with the country. So, this book actually focuses on the ceramics that are purchased in the house. So, Chinese export porcelain being one of the most important items that one can have in your home at the time period. And this particular piece right here has the symbol of the Cincinnati, it was called the Cincinnati China, that's the symbol of the Society of the Cincinnati, which was a prominent society at the time of George Washington that he was a member of. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So if you're ever in New Hampshire, please stop by Russell and Little Books. And if you're here in D.C., come to the Washington Winter Show here in uh, American University's Katzen Hall.